What's up? I'm Smokey Dukums, and welcome to our little adventure. In this one, we're gonna be kayaking, exploring, camping on a little island, eating some good food, enjoying the nature around us, wonderful vibes, smoking good, and just having a wonderful adventure. So grab whatever you're smoking and vibing along with, and let's hop into it. We drive in downtown, foot pushed on the pedal, move to songs we play together, be like we're on holiday. I got a feeling it's a good day. We drive in downtown, foot pushed on the pedal, move to songs we play together, be like we're on holiday. I got a feeling it's a good day. What's up? I'm Smokey Dukums, and welcome to our little adventure. I broke out the kayak again. I got the clear from the doctor. Finally, the arm is good. I'm so happy and thankful to be back out here just exploring on a lake. Not a trail this time, but we will be getting out into the bush. We're gonna be trying to find some grub. You know what I'm saying? I brought the slingshot. I was gonna bring the fishing rod. I had bait, I got worms. I had everything this time. Stupid me, I forgot the fishing rod. <laughs> I didn't even bring a fishing rod, fishing line, nothing. Oh, So yeah, as y'all know, it's a reoccurring thing on this channel. Me and fishing, we don't go hand in hand the best. I'm trying to get better at it, but I can't get better at it if I don't got the fishing rod to fish with, you know what I'm saying? We got plenty of food in the bag. We got plenty of snacks, got plenty of smoke as always which I'm about to break out here in just a second. And I got a little special appearance from some Cozy Cubes. Let's go. This is the first time I've ever tried these. They're yuzu, papaya, and guava. Oh man, I tasted one yesterday. They taste so good. 30 milligrams, 300 milligrams per bag. Love them. I can't wait to eat more of them. I'm gonna try five of them or more tonight might go on and eat a couple right now. You know what I'm saying? Make the trip start to get a little vibier. Because I was just bummed whenever I opened up my trunk to get my bag and my fishing rod was not sitting beside it. I just started thinking about that. I just stood, I just stood there staring at the back of my trunk the whole time. Well, as you can see, we got it all rolled, but we floated over into a little cove. Got stuck. Swing on back out here. There we go, we got the Platinum OG all lit up, making the kayak and adventure a little bit more pleasant. Later on tonight, we're gonna be finding a camping spot. And we're gonna pull over at that camping spot and have us a wonderful camp sesh. You know, there's plenty of places that I wanna kayak to around here, around this lake, and See if we can't find some new places that we haven't explored yet. And I was so excited to get that fishing rod and start fishing whenever I got out here. I was immediately gonna start fishing before I even put the kayak in the water. I was gonna throw the lure in the water first. I'll tell you, eight o'clock in the morning on a lake with the sunrise, no boats. It's a cool, crisp morning. Wonderful joint in the hand. Some dabs in the pocket. Got some little cozy cubes to make the trip a little bit more vibey and a little bit more cozy. I love this place. I just love all of this the solitude the quietness but then through the quietness you hear the birds the trees whistling 
You hear the the water rippling. Really love it. I'm very, I'm very thankful to be alive and be here. I appreciate y'all vibing out with me on this adventure. What I would do right now for a fishing rod. Oh, all right. So we're gonna cut across the lake now. We're gonna go over here into this little cove that's right ahead of us and see if there's any spots. As y'all just seen, there's people at our normal camping spot that I usually camp at here. And there's people there. I can't blame them. It's a wonderful spot. It's one of the best spots that I know of that's around here. And I haven't never explored over here really. So we're gonna go over here and explore. Finish off this little baby. We're gonna go and take two of these. Bag's hard to open, especially with slippery fingers. So this is what they look like. They're just little gummies, sugar coated, nice gummy texture. Mm. Both of them at the same time. These things taste so good. The yuzu papaya guava, it fuses so well together. Like, especially with that little hint of hash in there. Me personally, I love that taste. I love how it blends together with these other flavors right here. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Definitely gotta try out some more flavors from them. Wow. And if y'all haven't, check out Mama Cozy and Papa Cozy. Uh, it's Cozy Cubes on Twitter. They have award-winning solventless hash rods and gummies. And they have plenty of flavors. Wow, they, uh, this tastes amazing. Wow. Really glad I did that. <laughs> really glad I ate them. I'm worried because I probably eat the whole bag. Definitely want to get over here and find some land to start exploring. Like I said, it's early morning. It's about 8.30 now. The sun's coming out. It's going to be a crisp 70, like one degrees-ish around that area. And I'm not complaining at all. I'm so happy. Such a wonderful time to get out and explore. Such beautiful weather. All right, we made it off the kayak now. We made it on the land. We're going back in here, exploring a little bit, seeing what's all back here, really, because I've never been over here, I don't believe. I'm looking for a specific spot, and I'll know it when I see it, if I find it. I don't even know if I'll find it. I've camped there a couple times, but I just don't know how to get there by lake. Now this comes out to another opening and clearing up here, to another campsite, which is, a beautiful place in itself. I ate the two cozy cubes on an empty stomach. That's not gonna stop me from eating one more. You know what I'm saying? I gotta eat one more. I don't wanna be that guy, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be that guy. I don't wanna be that guy that's like, edibles don't hit me. Oh, I gotta eat a bunch to feel anything off of edibles. But I am kinda like that. The syrups and stuff I drink like at least 400 milligram, 350 to 400 milligrams for me to fill stuff, or I guess to be uh, fucked up. Beautiful campsite back there. We're just gonna head up this little mountain right here. I guess a little hill, you would, you could say. Let's see what's at the top of this. We got the slingshot attached to us. We got the cozy cubes in hand. I need to go in and get one open, huh? We're going to pull out one more because these things. These things taste amazing, like, wow. Cozy Cubes, look at this thing. Mm. It's a perfect candy treat. We're also getting a buzz. Also got some lemon cream cookies, a lemon pepper tuna. You know me with the lemon terps. I am a lemon fiend, basically. Uh, I got lemon drop at the house. Well, I got some here with me, actually, too. And that's a strain name. And let me tell you, it tastes just like the sour lemon balls, like lemon heads or whatever. Oh my God, it has like such a perfect resemblance taste to that. And I have not complained one bit. I've had a lemon strain finally that doesn't taste like pine salt. It tastes like a lemon head. Like it's crazy. The flavor profile that comes off of it.
Well, one thing I can't complain about is the lack of water. I don't even have any in my bottles right now, I don't think, because we're on a lake. There's plenty of it around. Just like with the firewood. There's plenty of it around. Can't beat that. And this is the first real trip I've taken this I can from Yokan with me on. So we're gonna see how it works, functions. Uh, how long it lasts for us if we got to keep recharging it or what have you we're gonna find it out that's for sure five clicks to turn it on dry ripping right now we have no water in there because like I said my bottles are empty and I forgot to get water <laughs> so double click get that thing preheating I'm really happy to be out here about to get out here and start exploring with a slingshot see if we can take something out if we do we're gonna be cooking it so don't worry about that. It's not going to go to waste or anything. We're not going to just leave it there. It will be skinned and ready to eat. Cheers, my friends. <coughs> that lemon terp that comes off of that is so wonderful. Hey, there's plenty of dab still down in there. So we're just going to put this up. Put this one in our pocket and just take it with us while we go exploring. So I guess we're just gonna walk this ridge through here, see what we can see. Uh, we need to find a rock. Let's find a good rock. There's gonna be plenty around. Oh, good rock is what we found too. Oh, if I can get it. Oh yeah, there we go. Hopefully it's not too heavy, but look at this rock. That's awesome right there. Found a good little rock. Hopefully we can slingshot it properly. You know what I'm saying? And I have so many lemon turps. I had that lemon cream, Nikot cookies, and now I had them lemon dabs, the lemon drop dabs, man. Oh, that tastes so good. Like you get back into the trees like this. They're alive. Well, one thing that I found out that I don't like about this. There's still dab in there. It just won't let me heat it up because the atomizer is too hot right now. And I only heat it up once. So that's a big downside for me on this. I want to be able to hit this. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to rip it over and over. Like, I don't want to just have to. Oh, be annoyed by the little things. It is what it is. We'll wait till it cools down. We'll hit it again. Anyways, look at this. We've made it to a rock garden. And who doesn't love rocks? Yeah. This is a very nice little rock garden. A lot of blowdowns right in here. As you can see, it makes it through a lot of dense forest and stuff like that. I'm not going to go through all of that right now. We're going to head back so we can get back to the kayak. We got a lot more kayaking and exploring to do. Let's see if I can hit that tree with the slingshot. Since I do have a rock. All right. I don't know if y'all can see way over here, but there's a tree right here that I'm going to be standing behind. That is my view. And we're going to be 20 paces away from the tree. So let's see how good my aim is. That's a pretty chunky tree. Hopefully I don't miss it. Oh, I smacked that tree. Holy crap. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> and this time I brought a backpacker's pantry. It's a uh, blueberry peach crisp or something like that. I don't know. It was looked fire as fuck. I'm going to be eating it tonight or in the morning. I'm not quite sure yet. And then we got some chicken teriyaki, uh, the beef stroganoff, the normal mountain house meals that we have, as always. <laughs> And I have a freeze-dried vanilla ice cream sandwich as well. I'm excited to try that. I don't know how that's gonna work out, but we're gonna eat it. I see dead tree. I, I need to push it over. Yes! Got the backpack back on. Now we're heading back down the hill and the ridge. That was a big shot right there. 
I hope they hit their target. Heading on down the ridge now. Watch my step all the way down. I don't know what. Something just glared onto the ground and it scared the shit out of me. Holy fuck, I thought something was on the ground. <laughs> this place is so beautiful. I love exploring. I love the adventures. Thankful to have my health to be able to do it. Look, this place is beautiful. I took that dab earlier. I ate them three cozy cubes. And I'm feeling them, that's 90 MGs. I think I'm gonna sit here for a little while. It's 10 o'clock only, so I got plenty of time to go exploring more, find other places, but we're gonna sit here and vibe out for a few minutes because they wasn't lying when they said that they were no joke. Yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling them. <laughs> so cold. Oh, it's really cold. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Woo. Let me tell you, after three cozy cubes, I think that's all I'm going to stick with. Oh, yeah. I feel them. And... I'm gonna dry out for a little while, relax, vibe out, and I'll catch y'all in a few minutes. Or however long it takes, I guess. There is a cold breeze coming now. As I've just sat here, just vibing out with these cozy cubes in my system, uh, took the dip in the water. I enjoyed that. That was very refreshing. Uh, so I had all my snacks. What, what was in my hip belt pocket? I didn't expect to eat all of it, but I ate all of it. Got the clothes back on, feeling a lot better. Also, the plans. I figured them out. There's some islands. There's a cluster of islands that's back the other way. So we're gonna kayak back that way. We've went about two miles so far. Uh, about a mile kayaking and a mile hiking back there. So the adventure has been adventuring so far. It's about 11.30 right now. So we're gonna be getting back into the water, paddling over to the islands and exploring the little islands and everything like that to see what they have to offer. We're gonna pick a campsite on one of them. Some cozy cubes, no more than three. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. All right, we gotta get to going towards the island. Oh yeah, the island is like, but it's spinning me around. Now it's time to get to the islands. I'm excited to see what they have. See if they have any campsites, what kind of animals inhabit islands. Are there squirrels running around? How did they make it there? Can squirrels swim? Did they swim that far to get to the islands? We're going to find out right now. Feels good to be back on the water, but my kayak was full of water <laughs> when I made it back there. So needless to say, both of my kayaks need to be fixed. My other kayak, I scraped up all, all the paint and all the old stuff that was on it. I'm gonna be ordering another kayak patch repair kit, and I might go on and do that to this one as well. And the boat flying behind me. While I'm just doing the other one, Fix both of them, you know what I'm saying? Try to fix the leaking problem, that's for sure. Well, we made it to the first of the islands. Cheers. There we go, proper dab. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to the smaller of the islands first, and then we might check out one more island, and then we're gonna decide from there where to camp at. And now, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Uh, let's get the paddling and get out of here. <laughs> this has been a vibey adventure. Them cozy cubes really set it right. Wow. If y'all ever find them, I highly suggest them. Woo, big wave.
Oh yeah. Big boot just went through, creating a big wake. Whenever I just hit the shade, I was so thankful to get into the shade from the sun, but I'm very happy about the sun and the heat of it. Cause it is a chillier day and it is getting cold, which got me thinking, I need to get some cold weather gear because it's about to be cold weather time. And hopefully it snows a lot some, at some point where I get to go because I would love to do some some snowy cold adventures for y'all for myself included I, would, I mean I'm just gonna get out there and enjoy it but it hasn't snowed here where I live much like where it sticks and stays around for a long time it is what it is I need to get cold weather gear before it happens anyways so I can enjoy it. hey there's one of the islands that's on my map. And then this is another island. And peeking out around this island is the island that we're trying to make it to. So we're going to make it to the smaller island. Then we're going to come to this island. And we might come back to this one. But we might camp on the middle one. I'm not quite sure yet. That one we'll save to explore for another day. I can't believe how them cozy cubes fucked me up. Like... I don't get fucked up off of edibles like that. Like, I was literally saying that. I was like, I hate to be that guy, but, but these things really fuck me up. So, tonight, whenever I go to bed, I'll probably take like two of them, enjoy the effects, smoke a little bit, make a fire, of course. And there is our destination, the last island that I was trying to make it to. So I just kayaked all the way around the little island. It's such a small island. I can get through it. There's a little camp spot up there. So I think I'm definitely going to camp here. And I can't wait to get this bag out of the kayak. I definitely got to get a bigger kayak or a canoe or something. I'm going to paddle over here. I believe that this is going to be the only place to get up at. Looks like some good water right here. Might need to submerge myself again. Kristen, my body, now that we've made it. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm happy as fuck to be here. Let's get this bag up out of my freaking knee. Holy crap. Oh, I'm gonna strain something just having this thing on my knee. Okay, so we've made it up here on the island now. And boy, it's a little windier up here. But I think where I left my tripod back there, uh, that's gonna be probably like the best spot that we're gonna have. There's a really cool set spot. I wish I brought the fishing rod. Holy crap. If I would have had the fishing rod for this spot right here. Look at this. This sash fishing spot is amazing. What? Got a perfect seat spot right there. You can cook some food right there. You hear that? Wow. That was such an odd sounding bird. Like I was coming too close to its territory. Tight bird. Oh, this is so cool though. I'm gonna walk the whole island because it's really small. Let's see what that all has to offer. There's also another camping spot over here. A little bit more open right here. Nicer. There's a little bit of a flat spot right here. I guess this flat spot could do. It's a beautiful view. No dead trees around me. The colors of fall are starting to show. Boy, is it beautiful. I love whenever fall fully starts setting in. I've already walked the whole ring of the island. And I got the whole view of the island. But now I'm trying to decide, should I be over here or should I be over here for my camping? Yeah, we're definitely going to be over here 
with the campsite. I just got to get this fire pit fixed up right here. And I'm going to go all over the whole island right here. Find a bunch of firewood. And then we're going to head over to the other island. Explore a little bit over there. We need to have some lunch. We need to have dinner. We got some dessert. Beautiful views. Great smoke. Good vibes. Let's go. Oh man, this is wonderful. I'm so glad I made it out here. Oh yeah, I need to get the tent set up and stuff too. But there's a lot of things that we need to get done. We're going to get that shit started right now. We're setting up the tent tonight. It's not supposed to rain, so I'm not putting the tarp on there. I want to get to where I could just set this tarp up though, like above my head and like put a pole in the middle or like my trekking pole in the middle or something and figure out how to stake out the corners. And then I don't even need the tent anymore. But for now, we're gonna set up the tent, make it cozy inside. So let's get this all set up. Oh. And there we go. We've got it all set up. And I don't have to move my food bag anywhere because there's nothing on this island. <laughs> and it's so small, I know that's for a fact. This right here is the blueberry peach crisp that I was talking about. I'm so excited for this. It says two servings. I'm gonna absolutely delete this. I also have an ice cream sandwich, the vanilla freeze-dried ice cream sandwich. I'm excited to see how this works out for me. And here, this time I chose the Zope. So we're gonna have the Zope for lunch. You know what I'm saying? I might get me out of another tuna packet, but I'll take that with me over to the island. I just need some water. Oh. This Sawyer Squeeze, man, this thing is wonderful. As y'all can see, this bottle has been through it. I know this Sawyer Squeeze works. I squeezed the hell out of this bottle. And these pre-rolls are from the company Cream. Not sure much about them. I just know this Zoop smokes great. I've had it plenty of times. Uh, the pre-rolls, that is. Uh, the biscotti, I've had the flour and the pre-rolls. I have another pre-roll over there. I really like that one. And the Platinum OG. Nothing wrong with that one either. So if y'all want to check out cream, I suggest, I mean, I bought these with my own money. That they don't even know anything about any of that, me saying it, but hey, they're worth it in my book. All 50 state legal as well. got us a little fire pit nothing too fancy but it'll get the job done i think i'm going to get all the firewood once i get back it's not going to be too hard to get a bunch up real fast i want to make it over to that other island and start exploring you know what i'm saying so we're going to put this out save it till we get over there the soap i like it don't taste like soap though before we head out though Gonna go on and eat one more. I believe that will leave, yep, five left. That makes me sad looking down there and only seeing five now. But going down the hatch. Man, these things taste so freaking good. Holy, wow, immediately as I taste them, they taste so good. Wow, that's really good. That's definitely the best edibles I've ever tasted. So we're packed up. I got a dab right here. Got the rest of the joint. I got a little bit of food. Uh, I got the water as well. I almost forgot that. Maybe we'll add some water to the dad this time. Maybe not. Maybe dry rips all night long. Oh, night long. <laughs> we made it back in the water. And let me tell you, kayaking without that bag in my lap is way easier. Holy crap. I gotta figure out a different way to strap that bag to my kayak, whether it be in the back or the front or something. Something's definitely gotta give. We're gonna make it over to this other island. It's in between the small island that we're on and the big island that's on the other side. We're just gonna get up on top of it, explore it, walk around, sit down, walk around even more. Yeah, I don't see too many good places so far to get up on this island. It doesn't seem like many people's camped at this island either. I don't see many clearings or anything like that. The island we just came from 
is right there. That's where we will be calling home for tonight. I went around the island all the way basically twice and there's only this one spot that I think I could squeeze through and I gotta push through a little lake grass. So let's see if we can make it through this. Make it onto the island. So we gotta get out of the kayak here. There is literally nowhere else. And going through that grass was a little bit more smooth than I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, we're gonna have to step. Oh my God, I almost just flipped the fucking kayak. Oh my, oh fuck. Okay, whoo! Step down in the water. <laughs> that would have been fucking horrible if I would have flipped the fucking kayak. Ah, oh, there's briars everywhere. Now, I must navigate myself through all of this. Oh, there's briars everywhere. Can't call it an adventure if you didn't work for it. Holy crap. I almost flipped the fucking kayak. <laughs> that would have been funny for y'all, huh? That's a pretty cool little camping spot. They got the chairs. They got a nice little campfire area. Beautiful spot to just sit and chill. I don't know about for fishing. I know you could get out there, but getting it caught up in that little mess, that wouldn't be fun. Let's set up this chair. I don't think I'm gonna sit on that chair. <laughs> There's too many spider webs on it to clean. Oh, go over here just on this rock. Crouch down right here on the edge of it. <sighs> yes. So about 30 minutes have passed. I've been out here chilling. About to just get the rips in. I've already ate my tuna packet. So now it's time to take some rips. Cheers, my friends. <laughs> oh yep that thing is cleaned completely out right there yeah we got this fully lit it's time to vibe out i'm probably gonna head back to the kayak not gonna explore this little island i've already went all the way around it it's really thick brush through the middle and you know, i don't want to just trudge through all that right now after sitting here and relaxing and stuff and eating that food and smoking and everything that other cozy cube kick it in. I can tell I'm beat. Gotta get back in the groove of things. This is the first adventure back. What an amazing one it has been though. It's only three o'clock right now. Can you believe that? Now we head back to our humble abode. Get some firewood, you know what I'm saying? I'm hungry, I need some real food. I don't need just a, another tuna packet. I need to cook some real food. I just need to decide the chicken teriyaki or the beef stroganoff this time. And I'm probably gonna go beef stroganoff. I got some hot sauce and stuff. We're gonna put it in there. Oh man, let's get back to the kayak. So whenever you build a fire, you wanna make sure that you have dead limbs 
dead branches, anything like that. As you can tell, this is how you know that they're dead. Whenever they're completely dried out. And they're gonna light on fire, definitely. These, they break easy. You see that? They just snap. All of this, even bigger limp pieces, they just snap immediately. What I'm getting at is green, like branches and stuff that's still alive, like this, will only bend. As you can see, this one has a vine growing to it, so we'll just rip that vine off of it. It looks like it's still gonna bud some leaves or flowers on here, but as you can see, this thing just bends completely. Just like that. No breaking, nothing like that. You can't really use that for starting a fire or keeping a fire going for that matter. I mean, if the fire is hot enough, it's gonna burn. Oh yeah, just so you know, in the future of you making fires or finding the wood that you need, make sure it's always dry. Round two with another dip. Here we go. Yeah. That one wasn't as cold. That one this morning was way colder than that one. Holy crap. That one felt great. Now I gotta get back over there into the sun and start drying off again because that wind is still cold. All right, we got the last joint all lit. Time to go in and get some food. Also in our tummy, I got the beef stroganoff with noodles. I forgot I even had this rag. I wrapped it around my propane can. This third and final pre-roll was a biscotti. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. I reckon I need to go get some more water. And later on, we're going to make the fire and yeah, just vibe out, smoke some more. Enjoy the night. There we go. We're back with the water. Now we just need to cook. We just got a little roach left on this thing, so I guess I'm just gonna smoke the rest of it. We'll have the wax for later. I guess I'm just gonna smoke the rest of it. We'll have the other stuff for later. We got the cozy cube still as well, so. Why are you running out? Just all the pre-rolls are done for. There we go, let's fill this bad boy up. Well, this finished as this was done cooking, so that's amazing. Cheers on that. It's the last joint. Time to dive in some beef stroganoff with noodles. Oh, it landed in the fire pit perfect. Let's go. Got some hot sauce, some salt. We're definitely putting it on this. It says that this is two servings, but I'm about to delete it. Like, this is gonna be one serving for only me and a beautiful view. So, I'll catch y'all whenever it's done and I'm done enjoying it. <laughs> oh, sometimes I don't English correctly. It don't make no sense. But that's all right. We got good smoke, good food, good vibes. Add a little bit too much water. It's a little like beef strong enough soup, but that's all right. It's gonna be getting down to 40 degrees tonight. This will keep me nice and warm. The beef stroganoff is done and emptied. Been deleted out of here, kaput. I ate the whole thing, that's 560 calories, 24 grams of protein, 1,540 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot of sodium. At least I had my salt intake for the day. In a little while, I'm gonna eat that ice cream sandwich. But you know what, Let's, screw it. Let's just go on and eat it now. Oh yeah, the ice cream sandwich. I've been sitting here watching the Outdoor Boys while I eat my food and everything. 
that's been a fun little thing. He's going through like jungle warfare or something right now. It's pretty badass. Eventually, if I ever make it that big and I can get sponsorships or afford to stuff like that, I'll be flying to jungles. I'll be flying to remote parts of Antarctica or wherever, or Canada, I guess, because Antarctica, I feel like, is a no-go zone. But Canada, like the Nunavut region, that's the closest part to Antarctica. Very cold places. The ice cream sandwich. This is one of my favorite ice creams. Oh yeah, this thing. Here we go. Down the hatch it goes. Okay. That's just weird. That was so weird. <laughs> The ice cream is so airy, like super, super airy. And it's crunchy when I bite into it, but like the saliva in my mouth, like reawakens it and it makes it feel alive, I guess. It's so weird feeling. Holy crap. It like turns in. To the real ice cream. I mean, it is the real ice cream. It's just freeze dried, and dude, that is so weird. I really don't know how I feel about this. Wow. Like it's so airy, and now it turns back into ice cream from the liquid in my mouth. This is blowing my mind. And speaking of freeze dried, I wanna get a freeze dryer and that's probably what I'm gonna run hiking higher off of is freeze dried candies and everything like that. Maybe freeze dried ice cream sandwiches. It's just, that is mind blowing. But freeze dryers are like $3,000 plus, and that's for a small one. The big ones are like $5,000. i am going to get one though. All right, the sun's starting to set. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunset. I'm very thankful to be out here, like I've been saying, on this island. Now, time to take a dab. I might drop a smaller one in here this time to see how it burns. Hopefully, it will burn more evenly. We got another chunk in there says that it's ready. Cheers, my friends. I hope that y'all are enjoying your weekend. If y'all are smoking along, let me know what y'all are smoking along down in the comments. <laughs> the first two times that I've smoked this thing, like, I got big dabs off of it, like big smoke off of it. And this, now... It seems like the smoke has been dying here recently or something. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but I can't get big clouds on it. <laughs> Honestly, though, uh, I think this thing, the I can from Yokan, it wastes a lot of material. Like, I don't know. It's, it's literally the sides of it. It not being a 3D chamber, it just... It doesn't burn the sides. I mean, it, it doesn't heat up the whole dab properly. It's only heating it on the bottom, and it doesn't seem like it's heating it the best either. Like it's, these Q-tips right here are, like, basically fully caked with just leftover dab. Ain't nothing I can do about it. That's all I brought. I wanted to test it out. That is the one complaint so far that I don't like. Oh, I guess the second complaint that I have so far for it. The first one is that it, it overheats too fast like it has like an overheater like that stops it from hitting like, i want to hit my stuff you know what i'm saying i don't want something stopping me all right it's seven o'clock now literally on the dot <laughs> So I'm gonna go on and get this fire lit up and enjoy this beautiful sunset. 
enjoy some warmth as well. Well, that's a big fire, if I do say so myself. Wow. It's warming me. So, no other time than now to take another dub. But this preheat, it almost dumped out all its water. It, if you barely tilt it over all the way, all the water will pour out of the straw. So you gotta be careful of that. Anyways, cheers my friends. I will be bringing this on more hikes and like camping trips, but I will have backup devices or backup flour, uh, more things than just this to smoke with. You know what I'm saying? Because this, as good as it is, it's just not sufficient enough. Oh well, it is what it is. It's sufficient for now. You know, that's hiker midnight for me. Dark 30, ready to go to sleep. This fire is extremely hot. Being this close beside it. Look how tall it is. It's taller than me sitting up. <laughs> wow, I should move out of the way. Well, as you can tell, it's dark now. <laughs> so I stoked back up the fire. I'm gonna get two of these cozy cubes back out. Ugh. My hands are wet or something. It's hard to open these things. There. You gotta like slide it sideways to be able to open them or to make it easier, I guess. I got two of them right here. I got three of them left over. So these are gonna go, definitely go down the hatch. Go and get another dab, load it up to cheers the night away. I hope that y'all have had a wonderful day and I hope that y'all smoked on some good, good stuff. I hope that y'all have gotten out and explored. That's the main thing I wanna do with this channel is to inspire more people to get out and explore. Stoner or not, it doesn't matter. Just explore our beautiful planet. We only got this one time. Yeah, definitely. I'll have something else to smoke out of <laughs> next time I'm out and about. Dad has loaded up the cozy cubes. We're gonna put these in the pocket because we don't wanna forget them or something like that. Love these things. Like I said, I'm trying out more flavors very soon. Get this preheated. Two cozy cubes right here. One down. Man, that flavor is just amazing. I mean, as soon as it hits your mouth, it's so good. Holy crap. Wow. Just wow. The, the hash rod, and I, I don't even know if I even really taste that that much anymore. Anyways, cheers, my friends, to a great night. Well, there we go. Dabs have been taken. Cozy cubes have been ingested. Yeah, I didn't get to come out here for the two night adventure that I wanted. So I guess I'm just gonna lay here while the fire dies down. <laughs> I might pass out right here. I don't see any reason right now to get up and go under the tent. Like I said, there's no rain, it's clear skies. I need to get a better camera so y'all can see the stars as well with me. Well, that's it from me for tonight. And I will see y'all in the morning, my friends. After a while, crocodiles. Later, alligators. Banana splits. Ooh, a banana split. A freeze-dried banana split. I wonder what that would taste like.
Well, good morning, my friends. <laughs> what a lovely night it was. As you can see, I brought everything out here. I was laying down only on my red mat, but then I brought out my other mat and my pillow and my sleeping bag. Oh man, I just laid here, watched the stars. Man, I wish I had a good camera for the stars. If y'all know any way to be able to film the stars with a phone or something, let me know because that was amazing. There was no lights, no nothing disturbing the stars last night. And then the moon, the moon was like, I don't, it had to be like the size of this freaking island. It looked like up in the sky though, like up that close, like it was so beautiful. Oh man, it's 42 degrees right now. Woke up with this beautiful sunrise, got a nice fire going. Gotta stay warm, you know what I'm saying? We also have some blueberry peach crisp over there to eat for some breakfast. Super excited for that. And it's Backpacker Pantry, so that's a new brand company that I've not tried. We'll get the taste on that. Put a bigger log on there this time for this morning so that only can vibe out with the fire a little bit longer, be a little bit warmer. It's nice camping near a river or a lake when you can always get water and stuff like that. I just say I'm an idiot for not bringing that fishing rod. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't bring the fishing rod. Let's roll over here. Let's get the goodies out real fast. We need to take a goodie bit, a goodie break. I don't know why I bring Q-tips either because it never works out for me to really clean my piece because the Q-tips are always somewhere else instead of with me and I'm comfortable. <laughs> I'm not getting up to look for them Q-tips right now. I'm gonna have to get another sleeping bag too because like the feel in this one in certain spots of the panels, it's like, I don't know if it's disintegrated or like moved over or what, but there's no feeling. It's just material. It's very thin material in between me and the cold air. Got another piece of wood on the fire. Cheers, my friends. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the swirling air flow in here, but it doesn't seem to spin my turp burl. And I'm not sure if it's spinning the wax around in there either. Choosing to take another dry rip. All the water dumped out. Every time it like leans over or anything like that, the water will start pouring out of the straw part. Got a nice, beautiful fire. Warming myself up. Next, I'm gonna get that peach crisp. Enjoy this beautiful sunrise. I think I might have to poop. Yeah, overall, it's pretty vibey. I can't beat it, that's for sure. Only thing that would make it better is a fishing rod. I'm seeing so many fish just jump out there. It's making me sad. This morning, I heard like three of them that was loud as fuck. It was like right up here on the bank. That's what I get. Walked right out of the house. Just smoked a fat one before I walked out. Walked right past that fishing rod. It's sitting right there too. At the house, I could see it right in my mind. It's just sitting right there in the corner. Haha, just... <laughs> motherfucker. Forgot me? Oh, next time, next adventure, we will not forget it. I'll make sure to pack everything the night before. So I basically got everything put up. I put up the tent, the sleeping pad, and the sleeping bag. I accidentally, <laughs> well, I definitely overfilled this. We have soup, peach, blueberry crisp this morning. <laughs> it's just soupy, very soupy. Yeah, me being close to the fire too, I kind of put a little hole in my sleeping pad. So I got to submerge that in water later and see where the hole is, fix that. My sleeping bag over here, I set up here to get more firewood. And it rolled all down the hill and floated onto into the water. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been dealing with all that, just having a good old time. I got another dab over here loaded up. I'm just ready to eat some food. We got the shoes, everything drying right here. 
my sleeping bag and everything rolled down into the water that's perfectly dry or well the sleeping bag is perfectly dry this little eversack y'all should get one they work very 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 super well cheers mm. i'm thinking about for the summer months and when it gets warmer just getting a better like accordion pad and just start sleeping on that not even bring a sleeping pad anymore because i'm tired of dealing with the like the little holes and it going flat in the middle of the night and stuff like that that ain't fun to me what's fun to me is getting out here exploring smoking adventuring i'm vibing with them this right here i will definitely get again mm. i use this thing on the fire for once instead of using my little stove i didn't want to burn up my fuel in that and i went to walmart to buy fuel the other day all that shit sold out everybody's buying it to donate it up to the mountains and stuff so i wasn't upset of course but i gotta conserve fuel where i can this has been such a fun adventure mm. moist superbo that probably wasn't even the right terminology but that was really good we got the backpackers pantry blueberry peach crisp in two servings, you get 540 calories, nine grams of protein, and 92 grams of carbs. Not too bad of a way to start the morning off, you know? Get the day going good. We're gonna take this back with us, along with our other mountain house meal. Throw that in the trash. We ain't throwing it in the fire, not leaving it here. We don't do that around here. Throw that up there. We get the last little bit of this stuff packed up. Just vibe out for a few more minutes and then we're gonna smoke. Head on out of here. So I'll catch up with y'all in just a few minutes. Oh. All right, here we go. Last dip. What's this? It's not cold. You're cold. <sighs> All right, this is preheating. Last smoke of the camping trip. I got some more cozy cubes. Like y'all seen, I have three left. I'm gonna save them for another time. Can't just get rid of them, you know what I'm saying? Them are some great, great edibles. Cheers, my friends. a good solid smoke sesh wow that one actually produced some clouds this time if y'all seen i got some newer clothes these are the only clothes that i'm gonna be bringing while hiking or camping or anything like that no more like heavy duty sweatshirts anything like that i got my sweatshirt over there it's a polyester synthetic blend i got uh some marina wool polyester marina wool polyester blends these are just some really lightweight shorts with ducks on them and uh, polyester like stretchy spandex uh, button down. Very breathable, durant tough socks, my shoes. That's it. And we might be only switching to an accordion pad for uh, sleeping. I don't know. You'll find out in the next adventure. I'll know more of what I'm gonna be doing and where I'm gonna be going. We gotta get back on the kayak. I think I'm gonna vibe for a little while and just stare out. If y'all wanna check out some stuff for hiking and camping, like for whenever you're sweating or it's too hot or too cold, whatever, check out some marina wool. It's fast drying sweat wicking doesn't stink whenever you start sweating in it it's antimicrobial check out some marina wool clothing for your hiking and camping needs also get some good smoke <laughs> well we've made it back out on the kayak and that's going to be the end of this adventure if you enjoyed this adventure as much as i did filming it please smash that like button subscribe if you're not already subscribed there's going to be plenty of adventures to come. 
comment down below your favorite place to explore, your favorite smoke to smoke on the trail. And until the next adventure, my friends, peace out. Smokey Dukums is signing off. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Ooh. Yay, successful camping kayak adventure. We made it on the other side and we went almost six miles, 5.95 miles. <sighs> Good adventure, fun times. Can't wait till the next one. You know, they're every weekend, every week, maybe multiple week. Until next time, my friends, peace out.